Alright guys, welcome to lecture number four. This is the hardware layer. We're going to talk about gates and circuits. The most fundamental hardware element of a computer controls the flow of electricity. Any given electrical signal has a level of voltage. So for example, between zero to two volts, between zero to two volts, we consider it a low voltage. Between two to five volts, we consider it a high voltage. The reason why we don't just say zero volts is zero and say 5 volts is a 1 is because when you're dealing with electrical signal you deal with variations which means that you gotta give room for error so between 0 so between zero to 2 volts is our room for error for low voltage and between 2 to 5 volts is our room for error for a high voltage now let's look at some terminology when I say a gate we're talking about a device that performs basic operations on electrical signals accepting one or more input signals and producing a single output signal so basically what happens is electricity goes into a gate and something comes out on the outside of it and in the next few slides we'll show you more what that looks like when you combine gates together to accomplish a specific logical function we call those circuits to represent a circuit mathematically we use boolean algebra and to read what it says here, a mathematical notation for expressing the logic functions of circuits. Also, a circuit can be represented graphically using a logic diagram. And we'll show you what all these things look like in a few. And finally, you can define the function of a gate or circuit by listing all possible input combinations and output possibilities using a truth table. Okay, let's look at our six basic gates. So let's look at a NOT gate. A NOT gate is represented by electricity goes in on the input and opposite electricity comes out on the output. It's represented by a triangle with a little bubble at the end of it. In Boolean algebra, it's represented as input is A, this negation sign, and that's output F. Let's look at a true table. So if a zero goes in, a one comes out. If a one goes in, a zero comes out. So basically, if one goes in here, then on the outside I get a zero. Or if I put a zero in here, then a one comes out on this side. The next gate we want to talk about is an AND gate. An AND gate, this AND gate is shown with two inputs input A and input B, and has output F. The symbol for it, the, the Boolean algebra expression for that is this expression. You have A and B. Now this and sign is not a multiplication sign. This is, means A and B equal to F. Now let's look at the true table. If you got 0 and 0 going onto inputs, you get a 0. If you got a 0 and a 1 going onto inputs, you get another 0. If you got a 1 going on going A and a 0 on B, you get a 0 on F. If both are 1s, you get an output of 1. Now let's look at the functionality. So basically what this is saying is that for AND gate to be high, have a 1, that means that both inputs got to be 1. Any other combination is going to create zeros. Next one is the OR gate. Here you see the logic diagram symbol here. Two inputs, A and B, output F. Here's the equation for it, A or B. So we don't say plus, we say that plus sign means OR now. True table means that if A is 0 or B is 0, the output is F. If A is 0 or B is 1, the output is 1. If A is 1 and, out, and B is 0, the output is 1. If A is 1 or B is 1, the output is 1. So look at this functionality. So basically we're saying that it's always 1 unless both of the inputs are zeros, basically. Or a better way to say it, if any one of the inputs is equal to a 1, the output is going to be a 1. That's why it's called like an OR gate. The next one we want to talk about is XOR. XOR has a symbol. It's kind of like an OR symbol, but it adds this little extra little um, notation here. And here's the equation for the Boolean algebra expression. This symbol in here is the XOR symbol. It says A, XOR, B. Look at the true table here. Let's look, look at the differences. So basically... If both are 0, I get a 1. If both are 1, 
I get a zero again. If they're mixed inputs, I get ones. So that's our that's our definition. So basically, if both if, if both inputs are the same, you get a zero. If any if the inputs are different, you get a one. That's a simple understanding of that. The next one is called a NAND gate. A NAND gate is just the AND gate with the little bubble on the end. And the equation looks just like the AND equation, except we add a negation symbol at the end of this. So here's the equation. So if both inputs are a high, you'll get a zero. If, the, if any of the inputs are a low, you'll get a one. So you see how that's the opposite of the AND gate. That's why it's called it a NAND gate. Last one, NOR gate. NOR gate looks just like an OR gate, except we add the little NOT symbol here. And the Boolean Allen expression, the same as the OR symbol, except we add the negation symbol there. Look at the true table. If both inputs are 0, we get a high. If any one of the inputs are 1, we get lows. And that's the NOR symbol which is the opposite of the OR gate. All right, let's move on. So now, once we put these gates together in a combination as shown here, what we have is a circuit. And notice here, this is the AND gate, AND gates, and this is the OR gate. This bubble here is basically saying it's connector. So as electricity flows here, it also flows through here. If there's no connector, like in this case, that means electricity is not flowing here. It's just like wires is on top of each other. All right, let's create a truth table again. So look at our circuit. We've got two AND gates and OR gate. If A, B, and C are all zero, notice how this zero goes here and it transmits the zero here too. Zero and zero through this AND gate is going to be a zero. Zero and zero through this AND gate is going to be another zero. Now we move down the pipe. Two zeros going through an OR gate is going to give you what? It's going to give you another zero. Let's look at the next one. If A is zero, B is zero, and C is one, the first stage is going to generate two zeros, and you go through the OR gate, you get another zero. Another example. If A is zero, B is one, and C is zero, remember, zero goes here, and also it transmits down here. The next stage is two zeros again because a zero and a one is always give you zero. And a zero and a zero through OR gate will be another zero. Look at this one. A, a is zero, B is one, and C is one. What's going to happen? Actually, the exact same thing. You're going to get two zeros coming through this first stage, and the next stage is going to be a zero. So how about this one? A is one, B is zero, and C is zero. Same thing, two zeros coming through this stage, zero going through the OR gate. Now we get a now we get a little something different. I got A is one, so A is one, and this one transmits down here. B is zero and C is one. Now what's gonna happen? A one and a zero is gonna give me a zero. A one and a one is gonna give me actually a one. Look at that. And then a zero or 1 through OR gate is going to give me a 1. So now we have a little something different. Look at this one. A is 1, B is 1, C is 0. Remember, this 1 goes here and it also travels down here. What's going to happen? A 1 and a 1 through this AND gate is going to be 1. A 1 and a 0 through this AND gate is going to be 0. A 1 and a 1 through the OR gate is going to give you a 1. All right. And what about this last one? A is 1, B is 1, C is 1. So, actually, what we're going to do is get all 1's through here, and of course, and course two 1's through OR gate generates a 1. This is the Boolean algebra representation of this circuit here. So you see how A and B OR with A and C. That's how you read that. All right, now let's talk about adders. We want to add two numbers together. So say we want to take 0 plus 0. So what do we get? 0 plus 0 is equal to 0, right? And this is called our sum bit. And there's no carry, right? So 0 added to 0 gives you a sum of 0 and a carry of 0. Now let's add 0 plus 1 together. 
what do we get? We get a sum of 1 and a 0 carry. So we see we get a sum of 1 and a 0 carry. All right, now let's add 1 plus 0 together. You get pretty much the same thing. You get a sum of 1 and a sum of 1 and a 0 carry. Now let's add 1 plus 1 together. Let's see what's going to happen here. 1 plus 1, you get a 0 for the sum, and we carry the 1, right? So we get a sum bit of 0, and we get a carry of 1. Next thing we do is I'm going to put this into circuit notation. So this is how this looks as a circuit. So let's go through this. So this is 0, and this is 0. A 0 and 0 through a XOR gate is going to generate a what? 0, right? A 0 and 0 through an AND gate is going to generate a 0, right? Let's look at another one. Look at the 1, 1 case. I got a 1 and a 1. Let's look at this case down here. I got a 1 and a 1 going through the XOR gate. I get a 0 sum. A 1 and 1 through the AND gate, I get a 1 carry, as we said here. Say so I got a 1 here and a 0 here. Remember, XOR gate, if the inputs are mixed, you get a 1 on the output. A one, a 1 and a 0 going through an AND gate is going to give you a 0, which corresponds nicely to this part of the table. So this circuit does represent this truth table. So this is uh, the circuit that we'll do for addition. When we want to add multiple numbers together, we need to add a little extra information to it. So not only are we using the original addition circuit, we also got to add some additional circuitry for the carry in bit, we want to add multiple numbers together. And let's look at this. And when we draw it out in a block diagram, we call this thing a full adder, where we have an input of A, input of B, and we have our carry in bit. Our sum bit comes out here, and our carry out bit goes out there. And inside of here, you see we have all the circuitry for the full adder circuitry. All right, let's see how this works. So 1 plus 1 is equal to what? 0 carry to 1, right? Look how that works. You see 0, so 1 plus 1, output sum of 0, carry of 1. This first carry in is 0 because there is no carry in here. So it's like a 0 carry at the end. So there's no carry in. Now what about 2 bits? So if I'm trying to add 1, 1 plus 1, 0, I need more than I need more than just one full adder. I need to add a, another one to it. So I add another one to it, and what I'm going to do is connect them together. Now they're connected together. Let's do addition. So one, so one goes here, zero goes there, zero carry in. So what's going to happen? A one and a zero is equal to one. So one goes here, and there's a zero carry. One plus one is equal to zero carry the one so put a one one there and the sum bit is zero and the carry out bit is one and this is a thing just redone and nicely neat in powerpoint slides okay what about three bits it's the exact same thing we just add another full adder to the picture and we connect the two together so now let's do our addition one plus 0 is equal to 1. So remember, 1 and 0, 0 carry in. 1 goes there, 0 goes out. So now we got a 1 and a 1. 1 plus 1 plus a 0 carry in is equal to a 0 carry 1. So 0 carry 1. Now on this side, we got a 1 and a 0 and we got a carry. So 1 plus 1 plus 0 is equal to 0, 1. So 0 is a sum, 1 is a carry out. And that's what it looks like. Alright guys, so that is our lecture on hardware.